came here in 1991, straight out the Department of Corrections. I used to be a drug dealer and a hustler back in the 70s, the 80s, and the 90s. I came to Baltimore because I wanted to change my life, and I changed my life. I changed my product. I didn't change my hustle. I'm the pit boss at, at Green Spring Station. I'm the pit boss on Falls Road. I'm Shorty's Bootleg Barbecue. I'm Shorty's Barbecue. You feel me? Employees spend summer. You feel me? That's my business. And I'm also a cater for 85% of the richest people in this state. I'd have been in business for over 25 years now. For 20 years now. You feel me? Since 1997. And as a caterer, I know where your money is. As a caterer, I follow your money. As a caterer, I've been in your houses. I watched you write the laws. And we're talking about opioid and crack and death in our communities. You feel me? I was making a movie and a documentary. You feel me? A movie and a documentary about race and racism, about opioids versus crack, about the war on drugs and being black and white America. And it's the best time to do it is now. You feel me? I've been doing it for 13 years. Like I said, I started a movie and a documentary about the illegal war on drugs, and I went to the courts to do it. To dismantle the master's house, you got to use the master's tool, and the master uses the courts on us. All right? So I had a 1986 case. State Illinois versus Dwayne Davis. That's me. I was found innocent in all those charges. The case was reversed and remanded. And I had to have another trial. That's why I approached the Supreme Court under Article 3 of the Constitution. It's a writ of sociority. And this was a direct case about the war on drugs. Now, that's a follow-up letter to Chief Justice Roberts. All right? It's a follow-up letter. You feel me? I'm a whistleblower. Eric Holder, Alan Locks, Rod Rosenstein, the Department of Justice have full knowledge. All right, Richard McFeely. All right, the war on drugs was exposing the role that the government plays in the war on drugs. And I gave this to Antonio the other day. Antonio Hayes. I gave him this the other day. He has this. So this is what the book going to do for you. That's David Irwin. All right, David Irwin. That's 2007. And it says... You have asked my opinion. See that case right there? That's this case is this case. And I'm found innocent of all charges in this case. So the state couldn't have used this information when you charged me with terrorism in Illinois and Maryland. It was about the war on drugs. You misinformed the public and you knowingly misinformed the public. You feel me? Reversed and remanded. The Wayne, the defendant. A jury trial. And I asked for a jury trial. So like I said, the documentary was about the war on drugs. It was about your courts and the corruption in your courts. And that's Judge Turnbull. See the date? That's before you locked me up. And was exposing the corruption in the court. You feel me? I was talking about Schellenberger. Read it. I got everything documented. That's, Con that's Conway, Frank Conway, Civil Division. I had a $54 million lawsuit against the, the state. I had a $54 million lawsuit, but you locked me up to keep me from filing that lawsuit. You made me homeless for filing that lawsuit. You feel me? Like I said, we started this in Illinois. You feel me? Case number, CF. We was talking about that case. Judge Turnbull. I mean, Judge Starks. Illinois, Supreme Court. You feel me? Effective. I did my due diligence. You feel me? Illinois Supreme Court, the NAACP and the Lake County Board got this. The Attorney Disciplinary Committee got this. You feel me? And I did this while I was in jail. Man Hill and Charles Village rape sues police after release. You feel me? I did this while I was in jail. This is part of my jailhouse diary. The next phase of life for a civil rights site. You feel me? We was talking about corruption in your court and racism in your courts, and we was talking about the play-to-play -play politics and the war on drugs. 
We was talking about stop and frisk and zero tolerance in O'Malley's money machine. We was talking about mass incarceration in the prison industry. We was talking about Martin Luther King. You feel me? So I put everything on a storyboard. I had 13 storyboards before. You feel me? So this time I only got three. Ghosts from the Christmas past, Christmas present, and Christmas future. And this is my future. So Pastor Dante Hickman, everybody that signed this, y'all signed this. Like, you know what I'm saying? Y'all signed it to give validity to my, my contribution to the cause. My contribution to the cause is my fight for freedom. I'm making a movie, dog. Movie about y'all. That's my producer, Rob Fix. The movie is about my incarceration. The movie is about Sam Cunningham and Waukegan. You feel me? The movie's about this case right here. See it? Document it. See, the beauty about this is I don't have to change nobody's name because I'm using all documents from courts. When I say Judge Souter, when I say Judge, when I say Mr. Snowden, when I say people destroyed evidence, jury is entitled to review all the evidence. You destroyed the evidence when you took my truck, my computer, and my, 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 my film, and my everything. You feel me? And that's a attorney-client privilege because I had to write the judge because my lawyer refused to do this shit on his own. You feel me? My book called The Minority Report. I gave the Minority Report to Christian Schaefer. I gave the Minority Report to Adam May. I gave the Minority Report to Governor O'Malley. I gave the Minority Report to 13 different people. Y'all had this. The Replevin Act. I filed this. It was about the movie. All right? Attorney-client privilege. You feel me? Like I said, you can go to the court. This is on file. This is on file. Because like I was making a movie about the courts. And about our politics and our politicians. House delegate. You see when it was filed? Civil division. You've been blocking me access to the courts. That's head state's attorney Mosby. I requested the opportunity to front of the grand jury you feel me and this is in 2016 it's 2018 2019 you feel me this is my interstate compact from illinois from 2009 you feel me miss humphreys dwayne davis december 2009 hearing a motion to withdraw his guilty plea i filed a motion to withdraw my guilty plea and i wanted to go to trial i wanted to go to trial with all this evidence to show you about the corruption in your court and the racism in your courts like I said, you kidnapped me on Christmas 2007. I'm going to take this truck to trial. I beat you in Ele I beat you here in Maryland, so I'm going to beat you the same way in uh, Illinois that I beat you in Maryland. We're going to take this to trial. That's the videotape. It's the return. Like I said, I'm coming home again. That's Mr. Waller. State's Attorney Waller. You was protecting the corruption in the court. There's no statute of limitations on murder and attempted murder. I turned in your court. So, yeah, I want a trial. I want a trial for this case. I took back my guilty plea and you never gave me a trial. Like Dred Scott, Governor Hogan, I'm a free man in one state and I'm a slave in another. And we told you about this during the 2014 elections. President Obama asked for a full investigation. I'm the subject of the investigation. You feel me? That's Kerry Cogwa. That's me in Illinois. Like I said, everything here is for what it is. Amnesty International. The Shorty Program. I'm Shorty. I'm part of the program. I am the program. And Congressman Cummings got it. I gave it to your wife. She got it. You feel me? Al Repmer has my complaint. Like I said, we're going to talk about the war on drugs and the war on opioids. We're going to talk about mass incarceration in the prison industry. And like I said, this is for Oleski. This is for you public officials that need to do your job. You asked for evidence. You said you wanted to see evidence. Here's the evidence. You can go to Ben Cardin's office. You can go to Bobby Zirkin's office. You feel me? You can go to these offices and get that, that evidence that you was asking for. You can go right here and get that evidence you was asking for. You can go right here to Kiefer Mitchell and get that evidence you was asking for. You can go directly to Governor Hogan and get that evidence you was asking for. 
It don't matter if you get the evidence, but like I said, it was about the war on drugs. It was about the corruption in the courts and destroying evidence by your elected officials. But this is one thing that you can't stop. That's Rob Fix. That's my producer. That's my movie. And it clearly says right here. I have attached a copy of the postcard. You feel me? That's certified mail. So this movie is going to be about Congressman Cummings. The movie is going to be about obstruction of justice and fraud, malice prosecution, Baltimore County. You feel me? I'm naming y'all. Judge Pearson, I'm naming you in this movie. Shielding the corruption, Ben Cardin's federal grand jury request. You feel me? My constitutional rights. This was all about the courts. Like I said, that's my producer. That's Judge Turnbull. And that's Judge Turnbull. He ordered it return. You feel me? Mr. Schellenberger involved. Title VI, fraud. You feel me? Judge Turnbull, Judge Turnbull. Movie. Pollard Towing. We're going to show you how Pollard Towing works into this too. Like Justin Fenton, when he wrote the story about the, the towing scandal in Baltimore City. Justin Fenton, it's the same thing going on with Pollard Towing. And I told Justin Fenton, and he ain't did nothing about it. The Baltimore Sun, Jane Miller, none of them want to do nothing about it because they shield the corruption. Can't stop the movie. President Barack Obama, because he asked for the investigation. You feel me? It's about the war on drugs in your prison industry. Certified. It's a movie. A movie that you can't stop. Killing me is no longer an option. You'll make my kids rich and Rob Fix will get rich off this movie. But the story's still going to come out. I covered my bases. Who's on first? I am. Who's still in home? I am. We're going to show... The Judiciary Committee and how they shield the corruption in Baltimore City and Baltimore County. We're going to show you the laws that you write to incarcerate us. Stop and frisk, zero tolerance. Yeah. Broschini, Zirkin, Valario. I'm going to show my testimony in front of y'all for the last five years. State's Attorney. Baltimore City State's Attorney, Carl Bernstein. Because that's who I turned you into when I came here. I came to Bernstein's office on February the 2nd. I turned you over to Bernstein, and then you locked me up. It's going to go full circle. And Kathleen Pugh, too, the Maryland Black Legislative Caucus, because I wrote y'all. Keep your friends close and your enemies close, and that's why you can't stand me, because you know I know your secrets. You participated in me being locked up, and you could have got me out of jail. You had knowledge of my innocence, and you left me in jail. So, yeah, I'm a bird dog you. I'm going to make you uncomfortable because the truth always makes you uncomfortable. I had a lawsuit for $54 million. That $54 million could have went back into the black community 10 years ago. And we wouldn't be having this conversation now. But like I said, I'm making a movie. Movies about you, Pew. Watch it do what it do. Baltimore, rewired. I don't have to change nobody's name. Judge Boris, because it ties Illinois and Maryland together. It's going to be a new year. 2019, all this is coming out. Ain't nothing going to stop it. It's going to tie Illinois and Maryland together. Judge Boris, Michael Waller, my lawyer, Bailey. I'm going to show you the transcripts. You feel me? We're going to get the transcripts. 1986 to 2010. It's a movie. About your courts and the corruption in your courts. And we're going to have the FBI testify. Richard McFeely. You're going to bring my cases from the Department of Justice, the FBI, and we're going to put it all on film. Like I said, I certified and notarized this. I planned all this. Planned it to the utmost. Eric Holder, the Department of Justice, respectfully requests all material. You feel me? Human rights constitutional violations, Attorney Waller, Bernstein, Schellenberger. Yeah, because y'all participated in the fraud. It was collusion. Obama asked for an investigation. You should have investigated instead of incarcerating me. So I don't get just one. I want all of y'all. Chief Judge Bell, because he had it. And if you go to Chief Judge Bell right now, everything I gave Chief Judge Bell is gone. 
Frank Conway destroyed everything I, I filed with the courts. Like I said, it's certified, notarized. It's all about the courts. James Hammond and Jake Davis. Copies of leases, checks, video equipment, forged checks, invoices pertaining to my property at Falls Road. I want a federal income tax. Y'all file file this with y'all. Judge Souter had this in the court transcripts. You feel me? So when we do all this, there's no law against making a movie. Judge Souter has all this. That's what that toilet was about in Towson. All right. Go to Judge Souter and get my records right now. And it talks about that. A jury entitled to see all the evidence. You didn't show them the evidence. You feel me? That's what the toilet was about. It was about Jake Davis, James Hammond, and stealing my property. I'm Shorty. The one and only Shorty. You can't write checks. You can't be me. That's against the law. And these are the supporters of Shorties. You feel me? So like I said, I was just exposing your money. And I used the toilet to do it. I'm not Charlie Brown. I use a toilet and a camera to do it. I'm the king of fools. And he the king of shit. But like I said, I got everything documented. So Pastor Dante Hickman. People in glass houses shouldn't throw stones. Y'all know that I do this work. I put in this work. I put in this work more work than I put my work against anybody in Baltimore City and Baltimore County. This ain't my fight. This is our struggle. This is about ending the war on drugs. You want to stop the murder and death? End the war on drugs. You want to stop the killings? End the war on drugs. That's what I went to jail for. Check my case number. Ain't nobody never did what I did. You can always walk in my shoes, read it. Guns, drugs, killing and murder. That's my past. That's my future.